Welcome to another NBA 2K21 Slam Dunk Mode Gameplay. Before we begin, I wanna say that I've updated the roster, including two new teams, the Slam Dunk All-Star and Sho Rionen, the combination of Shoyo and Rionen. You can download the two teams from the link pinned in the comment section. Also, it turns out about 89.3% of you watching right now aren't even subscribed to the channel. So please, if you enjoy the content, please leave a like, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell button. That's all I wanna say. So let's begin. of it. Six on the shot clock. They get it back. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. At the end of the day, when the ball goes up, there's no substitute for effort. About one minute into the first quarter. Cross contact on the shot, and now a three point play chance as he'll head to the line. And getting the offense started with a high quality look down low. First quarter just over a minute played. Hook shot. Nails the baby hook. And that pick takes the D totally out of the equation. Hey, if you're not going to fight over, you're essentially giving the shooter the look he wants. Offline from the top of the key. Gone two or three here to start out the game. Inside, down low. The layup off target. Just about two minutes into the first quarter. It's blocked, and he's able to get it back. That's another miss. Already they've missed three out of four to start. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Talented, driven. He puts constant pressure on your defense. And he sinks that one, hitting the back of the rim on the way in. Gone three of five, shooting the ball so far. Just over two and a half minutes played here so far in the first quarter. Just setting the tone with an aggressive move to the rag. And, and where's the help defensively? No excuse. You have to be aware. He should be on your radar all the time. The baseline J. Another shot. And 
the shot no good. A bit short. Gotten four of six field goal attempts to drop in the first quarter. And it's blocked. And here's the break. Got a hand on it. Just under three. Oh! oh. And that sort of showmanship is just deflating right now to a team trying to get back into a game like this. Ouch, Greg, that is definitely an emphasis jam. A big apostrophe or exclamation point, maybe even a question mark. Looking at current NBA... And here in the first quarter, with a little over three and a half minutes played... Six to shoot. Releases. Not going to fall. Starting off slow. He misses his first three from the floor. It's good. It's his second basket. He's shooting two for four. And I like to see this. They're calling his number early, and he's delivering. It makes sense, right? You're trying to get off to a fast start, and he can help with that. Tipped away. And here's the fast break. Oh, and there's the alley-oop. Up high to stop the alley-oop. Finding a little rhythm here that they have to like where they're at. They're playing well. They're building momentum. This is how they can turn a small lead into a big one. 125 left to play in the first quarter. Down to five on the shot clock. And too much time in the lane. They get called for the three-second violation. An outstanding defensive play to earn the mobile one block. And early in the game, a defensive play like that goes a long way, establishing the attitude you want. We've got 118 left in the first quarter of the game. it up off the glass he's got six and this has been a great job of just getting out, into the out. middle of that defense and really scoring effectively from the paint and the lack of rim protection top There's 49 seconds left to play here in the first. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. off on the first. That one is no good. Gone 8 of 11 in the first quarter. They'll take that percentage any night. To the right side. away and off the left side of the rim and it swirls in for him he's got eight and you can't help but pick their defense apart they're completely in disarray and two free throws coming up as the whistle blows he barely missed that one and with the offense getting right to the rim at least they saved the layup Take a break. 
Take a break. Two shots. The first free throw is good. goes in two from the line that time 17 seconds left in the first quarter a three-pointer is right on target yeah we're seeing some fireworks from them already they established the pace they made shots this is why they're way out in front and after just one quarter of play, a double-digit differential on the scoreboard. Leading by 14. And the second quarter about to get started. We'll be back in just a moment. Willing to be physical and setting the tone. Now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade all fueled up and ready to go. Here's the second quarter of play. Takes it up with both hands and rips it down. It's impressive the level of domination at both ends and you're seeing the results. Especially considering it's on the road in front of a tough crowd. They've been able to block out the distractions. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Greg, in New York, you obviously played in a number of championship contending teams. What do the Knicks have to do to get back to that field, that kind of team? Well, listen, it starts with stability across the board, but mainly that means at the top. And you got to give this new front office, this new regime, an opportunity. Oh, take a break. I, I think they got break. some good young pieces. Two shots. Uh, but title contenders are not in a constant state of flux right now. They've got to take their baby steps here and start moving in the right direction. Like you say, it does begin in the front off. First one falls for him. So he hits both. He's living there tonight. A tough guy to guard without fouling. And the bonus, he's going to knock him down. No good from the low block. And we're about a minute into the second quarter of play. They get the rebound. Tries it again. And good. Got the friendly bounce off the right side of the rim. And that pick takes the D totally out of the equation. Hey, if you're not going to fight over, you're essentially giving the shooter the look he wants. Stripped away. We're about a minute and a half into the second quarter now. Yep, it counts. He has six. Now how about how he sets his man up there, runs him right into the screen, and then gets the basket. Just phenomenal here tonight. 73% from the field. And yes, it's good. About two minutes into the second quarter here. To the middle. Off target at the rim. Gone two or three from the field here to open the second quarter. 
He misses it. He's four for seven from the floor. It's three on three on the fast break. And that's going to be out of bounds. And they'll keep possession. We're just over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Excellent, excellent box out there, keeping himself between the man and the basket. The second effort, he takes it up and lays it in. He's not looking at the score. He's staying focused, and he's staying active. There's two things they rely on him for, being competitive and bringing energy. That one goes in. Good at the rim. A slow defensive rotation leads to the easy lay. Shoots it up. That one a tad offline to the right, but drops in for him. And in the second quarter, a little under three and a half minutes played already. to the paint and he drops in the layup off the glass he has five I mean that's a good job working the ball inside and getting a quality shot to the wing right side Jin no good with the triple gotten a little under 50 percent of their second quarter shots to find the mark four of nine all told tries it from 19 they grab their own miss the third shot of the possession finally falls for them there's 138 left in the first half of the game out to the wing is off and you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall knocked away throws it up high he gets it to fall that makes it just a single digit lead and maybe that'll trigger them impossible not to get pumped up after that yeah well you can see the immediate reaction of the guys in the bench they are pumped up 50 seconds left in the first half. Goes back up. Banked in off the glass. Salvage the possession. He's a terrific offensive rebounder. Inside. Misses the layup. Gone 5 of 11 from the field since the beginning of the second quarter. Up and in on the layup. Hitting only 1 of 5 this quarter. He's in a little bit of a slump. But it looks like he's trying to shoot his way out of it. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. Clock at six. And there's the three-second call, this one on the defense. And so he hits the technical free throw. Two free throws coming up.
Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he makes the first. That's also good, so he hits both free throws. From deep. No good on the last second attempt there. And so it's the visiting team in control with a nine-point lead to end the quarter. They have made it very tough to get a shot off against them. Their defense has been stifling. We've got more NBA basketball coming your way in just a minute. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello, basketball fans. What a pleasure it is to bring you into the 2K studios again. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. Checking out the visiting team. Shaq, let's get your insight on the visiting team. Well, their offense is depending on getting points in the paint, and they're getting those points. They're getting mismatches, being very aggressive when they get the one how about you, Kenny? What did you think about this home team? They are playing tight enough defense. That's pretty clear. There needs to be a lot better communication. Guys are playing defense on an island a lot of times. And that's getting them burned. And that'll about do it as we get ready for the second half. Let's take you down to Kevin Harlan. Shout out to my man, man, Joel. Joel, what up? impressively throughout at 62 percent whistle blows basket is good so a chance here for a three-point play I love that they're continuing to attack despite being up big I'm impressed with their intensity tonight they've came in focus and they've executed Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot. Think about 35% from the floor. Not much falling for them. possession how about that strong defensive performance for this half's mobile one block and he's all over that shot has it read the whole way and gets the position he needs to make a play six on the shot clock off the inbound can't get the layup Let's it go from deep. He can't hit that time. Guys, there's still time for them to make a run. Can't have any wasted possessions down the stretch. Second shot opportunity. And that one hits back iron. I can see he's pressing a little now, trying desperately to help them shrink this deficit. Now, any chance you get, you want to put yourself in a position to succeed, and that's what he did there. Great job of reading the floor, got to the rim, and made a play. It's good from long range. 11 points in the game. And they've got to talk to you 
each other on D there. Miscommunication, and now he's able to make a pay. Out to the right wing. Over to the left wing. Flying is right from deep. A shot missing. Gone only one of five from the field since Hampton. Very slow start offensively. Had a chance there to cut it to single digits, but it's off target. To the left wing. Time. And that bucket adds to what has been a big difference in points in the paint between the two teams. The shot, no good. Off the mark once again. Terrible quarter for him thus far. Can't cash in from close range. Clock keeps going. Three minutes into the second half now. Side. And the layup is good after a nice lead pass. Clearly, he's one of the best there is in the business when it comes to making that lead pass. And it is flushed down with a nice jam. Oh, taking it to the rack with power. And hammering down the two-hand slam. Trying to get some traction offensively. Boy, it hasn't been pretty. You know, this is a good time to maybe switch up your strategy a little bit. You can't keep doing this. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the third quarter. Yo, set it up. I'm seven, and it's good off the glass. Textbook. Nice pass. Great catch. Even better finish. from 15. That's no good. He's 5 of 10 from the field. Going a lackluster 3 of 9 from the field since halftime. Misses from short range. Going an even 50% from the floor here in the third quarter. 4 of 8. Lays it up and in on the nice reverse. And he's got such a great touch and feel around the basket. He made that reverse look easy. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. First one falls. And he makes both free throws. gone five of nine on field goal attempts since halftime. Has 
to A train. 125 left in the third quarter. Shot clock at five. And he banks in the layup. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. There's a minute left in the third quarter. Fires the three. And no good. Gone 0 of 2 from deep to start things here in the second half. No good that time. Gone 1 of 2 from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. It's blocked. And for his offense, this has just been a brutal period. That is not possible. What we just, <laughs> is, is that possible? I, I think it is, Greg. Not probable, but like possible, like you said. <laughs> Shot and game clock separated by five. Trying to break that ice cold streak. That's tipped. From the arc. No good on that one. From 13. The shot will not fall. And here at the end of the third quarter, it's a double-digit ball game. Up by 16. And we'll get going after this from Cone Center. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today as we get going in quarter number four. Six to shoot. Can't hit from 12. And 59% up to this point, they're working for great shots, and they're hitting them. Good on the shot. Well, they've won the battle of transition buckets, and those easy points have helped them build this lead. It's such an advantage when you can get out and run and get a good look before the defense can set up. There's the three. He can't get that one to fall. And even against defense as tight as that, you almost expect him to still bury those. About a minute played here in the fourth quarter. It's tipped. Right wing. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. And just a great job of controlling that defensive backboard, then getting out in transition. Time out, That's time been out. the difference. Final quarter here, and we're just over a minute and a half through it. Out left to the wing. Five on the clock. Three-pointer. That one doesn't drop. Gone two of three from the field to get the fourth quarter start. Nice pass. Led him to the rack perfectly for the layup. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. Shot 
to stop the run, and it's blocked. Just under two and a half minutes gone here in the final quarter. To the left side wing. Buries it from three-point range. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. Looking to get it going. Jump shot is good that time. And that pick takes the D totally out of the equation. Hey, if you're not going to fight over, you're essentially giving the shooter the look he wants. Shot goes down. Not a lot of resistance on the inside, and they're taking full advantage. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. That's his first personal foul. At the line, number six. And that one misses. Good on the second free throw. Here's baddest one. Fourth quarter of play and over three and a half minutes have gone by. And the foul called on ABC. That is his first foul of the game. Yeah, clearly a foul of frustration right there. Pass to A train. Out to the right wing. Oh, that's blocked. And that goes out of bounds. And they'll keep possession. Shot clock at six. Fires the three. The shot. No good. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. Yeah. Tries again. No good on the layup. Gotten off four three-pointers in the final quarter, and two of them have fallen. 143 left here in the fourth quarter. range, but they'll get another chance. Pass the baddest one. And play stops. Whistle on what looks to be an illegal screen. And not the most common call you'll see in the NBA, but hard to argue that pick wasn't illegal. It's often a tough call that can go either way, but I agree with you on that one. Pass to ABC. One twelve left to play in the final quarter. To the wing on the left. Over to the wing. Pass to Okoro. That shot, no good. Gone five for nine from the field in the final quarter so far. Baddest one passes to A Train. It's deflected, but he stays with it. 
Second chance shot. Now, Okoro. He can't get that one. Seven second difference, shot and game clock. Here's baddest one. They could use a bucket, stolen by a Coro. The visiting club takes the win on the road. To come into an opponent's building and dominate the way they did tonight says, I think, Greg, an awful lot about this team. I, I guess they don't need home cooking to feel at <laughs> home. I mean, Kevin, just a masterful performance all the way around. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and Steve Smith, and the rest of our terrific 2K Sports crew, this is That's Kevin it for Holland now, saying, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope so you like it. And if you do, everyone. please leave a like, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell button. Alright guys, see you in the next video. Bye!